Multicam, what is it? I think it's safe to say that most video is shot with one camera and most editing consists of selecting and sequencing clips from that one camera's perspective to tell a story. Multicam editing is a whole other thing. Anytime you shoot a scene or an event with more than one camera rolling at the same time, where your editing job is primarily selecting which camera angle you want to see on screen as the action unfolds, that is multicam editing. And once you understand what this powerful feature can do, I would be surprised if you didn't find some new ways to streamline your workflow. So let's jump in. First, I'll hit that add clip button and choose multicam container. This will add a special clip to your current timeline. It has a default duration of one minute. That will change as you add material. A multicam container is like a whole new category of clip that makes this complicated magic simple. The first thing the multicam container does is it lets you collect your clips together to synchronize them. I'm going to drop my clips into these drop zones. Each camera recorded audio, and I have my clean primary audio file that was recorded from the venue's mixing board. You can see that as soon as a primary audio clip is added, all the clips are muted. By using a primary audio track, you'll keep hearing this same audio even though we're switching camera angles. Now you're ready to sync. Press the sync button down here, and I'm gonna choose audio as my sync method. Once it's finished, you can compare the waveforms to verify the sync. If for some reason a clip doesn't have the info LumaFusion needs to sync it, it's easy to nudge a bit using these little tools if the sync needs fine tuning. You can set the sync mode to manual and move the clip manually, dragging it frame by frame. Okay, once we're done syncing, I'll tap here to close the synchronizer, and now comes the fun part. Tap on switcher. When I press play, you see each angle is playing in sync here. Tap on any angle to switch to that angle and make a cut. Notice my primary audio is not being cut while I switch, but video is being cut. If I make a mistake, I can either jump to a cut and choose another angle, make a cut at a new position, or I can roll trim the cut point. When I'm done, I'll just tap close to go back to the timeline. Here's my multicam container with my synchronized and switched clips. I can tap once on the container to move it to another location on my timeline, or I can tap again to select a clip in the container. That's great because I can add an effect or color correct just that cut, or you can just go back to the synchronizer and add the effect to the whole angle, and that change will be propagated so that you'll see that effect every time you cut to that angle. Now let's look at what we can do if we don't have primary audio. We have three cameras that rolled sound. The first two cameras just have scratch audio to use for sync. Plus, we recorded sound into two separate recorders. So now, when we see the camera one shot of Chef Justin, we'll map the audio from his lavalier here in track four onto video track one. I'll change that channel mapping here. And I'll map the audio from the boom mic here in drop zone five to cameras two and three. Three will both play the overhead boom sound whenever we cut to either of those two angles. Now we're ready to switch. Go ahead and hit play and tap the angle you want to switch to. Couple more pieces of garnish for color as well as additional texture. These are Fresno chili threads that don't actually add a lot of heat because we took the seeds out. Now, if you want to switch just video or just audio, you can deactivate either of those and cut just the other using these buttons here. Best of all, it's fun. We can't wait to see what kinds of remarkable things you're going to edit using Multicam Studio. Happy editing.